Hi there, Valiant Technology here with another Tech Bite. I'm Marianne Dobrovolsky, your training manager. And today we're going to demo how to use the Outlook Scheduling Assistant function. Let's get started. Scheduling Assistant is a great way to find a meeting time that works for everyone that you need to invite. Rather than parse through several calendars or send an email back and forth, proposing times, changing times, all that stuff, you can just use Scheduling Assistant. To start, make a new appointment or a new meeting. Fill out the information. Now the next steps you can do in any order, I'm just gonna show you the way that I like to do it. I start by putting in the names of all the people I want to attend my meeting. Sometimes I even set a time that works for me. And then before you send it out, go up to the top, click the Scheduling Assistant tab. And in here, you'll be able to easily compare everyone's schedules. Even if you don't have the full access to their calendar, if they're within your organization, you'll still be able to see busy, free, tentative, that sort of thing. I hadn't planned this. I actually picked a small window when everyone is free. You can see there's no colored blocks in here. So this actually works. If it didn't, let's say I wanted to do it at three. The top line will indicate if anyone has a scheduling conflict. And all these colors and shading are based on the regular busy, tentative, free, or out of office colors. If you wanna know specifically who has a scheduling conflict, just look down, line it up with the name, and I can see that Paul and Mark are unavailable at this time. But I can also see other potential times for this meeting on this day where there are no scheduling conflicts. I could pick 9.30, 10, 2. The other thing to look out for is this grade area. If someone set up their working hours in Outlook, those will be white. And anything gray means that's the end of their work day, so you shouldn't schedule something during this time. So based on this, what looks best and is going to give everyone a little leeway time would be to do it at 10 a.m. I select the time. You can see at the top, it's automatically changed the time of my meeting. And then I can just click send. That will send them an email with the normal invite that they can accept or decline. But chances are, since you already checked their schedule, it hopefully is a time that works for them. You can also do this on Outlook on the web. Open up your calendar, create a new event, invite attendees. And once you put your attendees in here, it's actually automatically gonna start suggesting times when everyone is available. Over on the right is just a little preview for you can look day by day. But if you wanna open up the full scheduling assistant like we saw before, click up at the top and there, you can compare everyone's calendars to each other. This one will highlight it in red if there is a scheduling conflict, and in green if you're good to go. Click Done and then Send. For more tech tips and useful how-tos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell button to get notified when we add new content. You can also visit our knowledge base at thevaluingway.com kb. Bye-bye.